in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is Apostle Peter Daniel, by the grace of God. You are watching me in Heaven and Hell Life program, the one we used to do every Monday to Friday, every Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. every day. I pray the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a serious topic we just want to we think right now. Please, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Holy God, everlasting Father, we want to bless your name because you are the lily of the valley, you are the almighty God, you are the rock of ages, you are the beginning and the end. We that glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you, Father God, that you feel the heart of the people that is listening to me right now. You will open their eyes to understand and to see the things of the Spirit. You will open their mentality, you will open their heart to understand the, 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 the word of God. We, da, we ask you, Father, that we do that in Jesus' name. Our everlasting Father, we ask you, Lord, that you take charge in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, I want to tell you the reasons it is wrong for a woman to do family planning. You have heard that a uh, woman must not do family planning, but I want to tell you reasons. I want to tell you secret about it. Why God forbid it? Why God don't want it? I will tell you today by the grace of God. By the grace of God. Uh, there is a revelation I receive. I receive in the spirit of God. About women. Who are. Doing family planning. Family planning is a kind of. A. Uh, uh, a kind of uh, control, a control, the things the women or man uses to control bet so that it, the, 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 some people, the family planning, some people they take drugs so that by the time a man meet them, it will not become a child. Some people use pain, some people use different kind of things into their body just to make sure that uh, by the time a man meets them, pregnancies will not occur. Yeah, so this is what we call family planning, a family control, whereby you are able to say, okay, I want to give back to two, and uh, the woman just said something in his body, so that by the time a man meets him, it will not turn to pregnancy. I want to tell you today that if you have done that, you are going to hell if you die. If you have done that, if I, I want to tell you that if you have done that, it is right, it is right time for you to go and do amendment before Jesus Christ come. It is fine now that you hear the reality of the message. It is okay now that you understand the reality now than you understand it when you die. The Bible says it is appointed unto man to die once. After that is judgment. It is appointed unto man to die once. After that is judgment. So if you die now without realizing the fact, the kind of fact, the kind of uh, this thing, the fact, it is dangerous for your soul. It is dangerous for your soul. So, so, so dangerous. Now, in the Bible, the Bible says something to us in the book of Genesis. It was saying something about productions that God, he asked Abraham, he asked Abraham and Eve to be given birth to all creation, to be, to be given birth so that uh, the people can be much on earth. It is a commandment. 
that God gave to Adam and Eve that there should be more human be on earth. If there's one thing God wanted, if any man decide to have a lot of children, God desire it seriously. God desire man to have a lot of children. But whenever man says that he's not willing to have children too, it is like you are trying to tell God, God, God that Lord, for this reason, for this particular reason, I don't want child. I don't want child. And God himself can, in one way or the other, block that womb from, from producing children. This is a secret I saw about a few years ago. I saw Satan in the pit of hell. He called a meeting. That is the place I got to know that Satan used to do his meeting, dangerous meeting, most time in hellfire. The truth is that, the question is that, is fire not burning him? Well, the Bible talks about he being created with fire. The fire of hellfire there, hellfire cannot burn the demons. Now, he can only burn the woman that died that go there. That is why there's another option. They call it lake of fire. This lake of fire is meant to burn anybody that enter, whether you are Satan, whether you are demon or so on and so forth. So there are parts whereby the Satan used to do his meeting. And I also want you to understand that air fire, air himself is a demon. Hell is not just a place of fire. Hell himself is a is a demon. It's a demon on its own. Air fire has eyes. He has eyes like a human being. He has mouth. He has he has hand. He has leg. He has he has stomach. He has head. Air fire is a demon that can enlarge himself, mm -hmm. enlarge himself, and can also make himself small. So it's a demon. So I'm not here to to talk about that now. So what I just want to explain now is the fact and the reality of the revelations that was given to me in the spirit about family planning. Satan called a dangerous meeting one day and begin, he, 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 he called them and he threw a question down. And this question is a serious question that they have to think about and make a conclusion about. Huh. Now, and this question was, Satan said, what can we do to Christian people to make them to go to hell unknowingly? So this meeting was old, was old in the pit of hell. And when they made this meeting, they suggested, one of the demons suggested that they should bring, they should introduce something like family planning. Something like family planning to prevent them from having more children. As it is commanded in the scripture for us to produce huh. more children. And also, it is also commanded that, uh, that every Christian must not attach anything into his body. So let us command them that there's something medically that when they attach it into their flesh, they will be able to prevent pregnancy from happening. You too with your mentality, if not for this, uh, this kind of uh, 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 satanic agenda, how will a doctor put something in your hand like this, in your hand, and that thing will, will prevent you from having pregnancy. If not that, there is something else in it. So, because God ate us to put something in our body. He ate us to tear our body with a blade or anything. He ate to see blood, one. He also ate to put something in our body. He ate us to put a ring. He ate it. He wants us to be natural. So that is why the the uh the the devil 
is using it as a way to capture Christians and to send them to hell. To send them to hell. Number one, for them to disobey the instruction of productions. Number two, to, to, uh, to also disobey the law of body, body, human body. God ate it. So that is why some people, say, some people they, they will ask you that they will have to insert something into your vagina and that thing will be there for like two years. So Satan put it there, he knew that by the time rapture took place, I meant something that God did, did not create in you, inside your body, it will eventually lead you straight to hell. So these are the tracks. These are the plans and the satanic uh, strategies that the devil is using to capture Christians and take them to hell. Those who are using drugs, too, the Lord, that drug is, called, is destroying things in their life. And not only that, it's also against God. In the olden days, according to the research I made, many years ago i was told in the research that the women of those days in the time of uh in the time of noah women of those days they used to do family planning they do it through a leaf they do it through a leaf there's a particular leaf that when they hit it that leaf will make them young one but they will not be able to get back no matter how old you are, even though you are 100 years, you are 200 years, then when you take this leaf, you will become so young as a child of 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 years old. And the person will have long life. But God hide that tree. He hide that tree. He hide that leaf from humanity again. Because God is not pleased with it. That is what the Bible is talking about in the in the Bible, talking about changing what is nature, natural, onto what is not natural. Trying to try to please yourself and not to please God because of certain reasons. I know people, some people are doing their own because of financial financial constraint, but be, or, or some people are doing their own because of on, 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 unavailable. Uh, an ability to, to take care of the children. Some people are doing their own because they decided not to carry the body of children. But this is the fact of the whole truth. Children are given from God. There is other means you can prevent yourself from not having children than you using the things that can take you to hell. There are many means you can use. There are many areas you can use to prevent yourself from not, from not having children. The Bible talks about Sarah. The Bible said God sought a woman. We start looking at the Bible. The Bible said God sought a womb. And when it is time, God opened a womb again to give back to his son. Number two, the Bible talk about uh, it, it talk about uh, 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 Rachel and Rebecca. Rachel too, the same thing happened to Rachel. The Bible say God shut a womb. When it is time, God opened it. Rebecca too, God shut a womb. When it is time, God opened it. It means there is this a key. God is interested in the bed. He is interested in shutting and opening. It is his business. It is not humanity business in shutting and opening. You see, you don't understand the gravity and the law of body. This body we are carrying has its own law according to God's standard. If you go against the body, the law of the body, you are not going to heaven. If you go against the law of the body, you have already gone against the will of God, which can totally take you directly to air fire without any explanation. That is why the Bible says, it said your body, it didn't say your spirit. 
He said, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit dwell in. They are in. Is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So how are we going to do it? When things like this is going on. A lot of things are the things that this medical practice and these are the people the devil is using. Even including all the agendas of the devil is being categorized under medical care. Under health facility. They are going to be the one to carry down the assignment of the Antichrist. If I preach that medicine, you should not be using it. You should be using it. And we said, hey, you are preaching and resting. But that is the truth. That's the truth. It is even preferable sometimes to go and use normal, normal health care. I mean, normal leave and eat normal leave to get ill than taking drug. Because all these drugs are being mixed with satanic, satanic uh, things. Which you are not aware. Some might say that, but I'm a medical student. You might be a medical student, but the things you are tasked together, do you know how it is being made? All the all the acid, all this whatsoever they put together, you know how it is being made. We are in the world whereby the devil are if I'm telling you the devil are taking control of the world, don't say no. That's the reality. So they are introducing different kind of things into your body to destroy the body kind of law. As you know, as the spirit has its own law, so the soul has its own law. So the spirit has its own law. The soul, the, the, one of the law for the soul is you must not have even thought in your heart. When you, call, you bring out, you bring in even thought in your heart. What happened to your soul is that it will get corrupted. That's the law of the soul. The law of the spirit is that when you begin to corrupt your soul and you begin to stop studying the Bible, praying in the spirit, your, your spirit life will die. It will die and die completely. That is the law of the spirit. So everything has its own law that abide and guide them. The law of the body is that you must not put something in your body. What God has not put in there, you must not put it. Because your body does not belong to you. It belongs to the Holy Spirit. It has been purchased with a price. The Bible says Jesus has purchased our body with a price. So, is any woman using family planning to guide in one way or the other, you are heading to hellfire. Forget the fact. Except you wait and go ahead to remove whatsoever is called family planning in your body. If you do do that, you are on your way to hell. So the devil said this with this kind of realistic that if this Christian can go, because they will not know it is against God, but no God, our God is a faithful God who will reveal the secret to his children. And he has revealed it now. It's for you now to accept and do the right thing. Let me tell you something. Are you telling me that God is a fool? For him not to put something in your body that can make you not to have children. Are you saying that God is a madman for him not to do the right thing? For you to not go yourself and say you want to help God to put something to it, enter from having pregnancy. Why can't you and your husband go into prayer and see whether God will give you time? If you say, Father, we don't want child again. Go into prayer. With sincere heart, the Bible says, if you have faith like a mustard tree, you will move mountains. Why can't you go in prayer and say, Father, we don't want any child anymore. We want you to lock the womb. Just 
Research. Let him remember the thing he, he loved the, the womb of Sarah. He loved the womb of uh, Rebecca. He loved the womb of Anna. He locked it. Remember, imagine, tell him you should lock it now that you don't want child. And she went that he will not lock it. He's faithful. Except if you don't have faith in him. I will say much, but this is a strategic way, strategic way that Satan has used to capture many Christians. And it's so pity that many Christians who are dying today, they are not making them. They are going to hell every day. You will not go to hell in Jesus' name. You will not go to hell in Jesus' name. I say you will not go to hell in Jesus' name. God bless you. God be with you. I will not say more than this. This is a short message the Lord is giving me to you. Please make the right thing. Make the amendment. Don't just go. Subscribe to this channel for you to hear more of God's message. God bless you and God be with you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye. Subscribe. Press notification button. Bye.